Well, hello there. It's time for us to do our Bible story again. Last time, you know, we talked about the Tower of Babel. If you didn't watch it or you don't remember, there's a video. It's on the church website under the Sunday School tab. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. Just have someone look for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish. That's this place. That's your church. And then you can catch up. But last time we talked about people wanting to build this big tower. They didn't need God anymore. They wanted to do their own stuff their own way. They wanted to be their own bosses. And God mm, wasn't on board. So God mixed up their languages so that they couldn't talk with one another. And they slowly drifted away to other places. People who could talk together went off by themselves. And that's last week's story. This week's story, we're going to follow one of those groups that left Babel, and they went to a place called Ur. Isn't that cool? You are Ur. Isn't that a funny name? And in Ur, they forgot about worshiping the real God, and they worshiped the moon. They sang songs to the moon. They said prayers to the moon. They danced dances to the moon. They ate festivals and feasts for the moon. It's kind of hard to picture, isn't it? But that's what they did. But not everybody. There was one family, the dad in this family was named Terah, and they remembered the real God. Now, they had a lot of stuff wrong. I mean, it was a confused time, and they didn't know about Jesus like you know about Jesus, and they didn't know all about the heart of God being the heart of a loving father. They didn't know any of that yet, but they did their best, and they remembered their best. And they lived in Ur with all of these people who were singing and dancing and praying to the moon until they got tired of that, and they moved away. And so Terah, he took his three sons. One, well, one of his sons died soon after. But Terah and, and two of the boys made it on this trip. And they had their wives and their families along. And they went to a place called Haran. And they lived there for a while. And they could do their own thing there. And they could have their own beliefs there. And there were no people keeping them up at night singing and dancing to the moon. So it was better there. And they lived there a long time, and Terah, the dad, died there, right, and was buried there. And they kept living there until the son Abram was 75 years old. He and his wife were living there, farming there, ranching there. They had flocks and herds that they, that they took care of. They had quite a number of cattle. They were, they were kind of rich, but they didn't have any babies. And it didn't look like their lives were really going anywhere. I mean, they were pretty old, 75 years old. And one day, God, not the moon, God called Abram's name. Abram. It must have been so scary. And Abram said, yes. And God said, been watching you, Abram. I've got a plan for you. I want you to move to a place that I'm going to show you. And I have a special life for you, Abram. Everyone who blesses you is going to be blessed. Everyone who curses you is going to be cursed. Go tell your wife, Sarai, that it's time to go. So Abram went and told Sarai, Hey, baby, pack up. We're moving. Sarai said, We're what? We're moving. Where are we going? Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, God talked to me. The moon? No, 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 not the moon, Sarah. God, aren't you paying attention? God talked to me, and God said that it's time for us to move. Okay. Where, where are we moving? Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, the voice was not very clear. God said that he'd show us where we should go, and that if we go, everyone who blesses us will be blessed, and everyone who curses us will be cursed. So that's pretty good. Let's pack. Let's get on the road. We don't have the rest of that conversation in the Bible, but my guess is that it was interesting. Don't you think? So anyway, after a while, Abram and Sarai and Abram's nephew Lot from his, his brother's son Lot and all of their cattle and all of their flocks and all of their herds, they packed up and they started walking west hoping that God would tell them when it was time to stop. 
Now, we sent you some stuff. I think it's also on the website. But we sent you some stuff this week. There's a donkey for you to cut out, and there's an envelope that you would put as part of the donkey, and then there's a tent, and there's other stuff for you to put in the envelope, and a pictures of Abram, Sarah, and you can remember this trip. There's a map so that you can sort of see it in your head that these people are walking west. They're trusting God that God is going to show them something, give them something, help them in some way. And just imagine yourself packing up everything you own and just walking west. Well, that's what they did. And when they got to the land of Canaan, God said to Abram, Abram, yeah, this is it. What do you mean this is it? This is the land. Look around. So Abram looked around, and God said, everything you can see, Abram, I'm going to give to you and to your children. And Abram started to say, I don't have children. And God already knew that, of course. God says, you're going to have not just a child. You're going to have lots of children. They're going to have lots of children. You're going to have lots and lots of descendants. There are going to be so many people that call you daddy and granddaddy. There's going to be so many people. It's going to be wonderful, Abram. And all this land is going to be yours. And most wonderful of all, someday, one of your great, 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 great grandchildren is going to be a blessing to the whole world. Now, you and I know who that is, right? That's Jesus. That Jesus is a blessing to the whole world. And his great, 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 grandfather was Abram, a guy who didn't know much, didn't understand much, but trusted that God knew a lot and did what God told him to do. So Abram listened to God. He went where God wanted him to be. God made him a promise that there was going to be a big family and a blessing for the whole world. And then God rolled up his sleeves and went to work. We're going to have to teach this guy who I am. We're going to have to teach this guy and his family how they should live, what they should do. We're going to have to teach them some commandments. We're going to have to teach them some rules. We're going to have to give them some instructions. We're going to have to be patient with them because they're going to make mistakes. But we're in this. And God went to work in Abram and Abram's family. Now, we have a lot of stories that we're going to share. We have a lot of stories about that family and the time going on. We're not going to cover them all, right? But they're in your Bible. If you have a Bible story book, you should be in your Bible story book. For this week, I want you to imagine Abram getting called, 75 years old, and going he didn't know where, trusting in God and how God blessed that trust, blessed his family, and blessed the whole world. It's the same God who's still calling you to follow him, to do what he tells you to do, and who promises that he'll bless the world when you and I do what we're supposed to do. Not as big a blessing as Jesus, of course, but still blessings for the world. So today I invite you to pray a little prayer with me. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you call us. Thank you that you lead us. And thank you that you have a plan for us. Help us to listen to this story of Abram and remember that you call us to help us to hear about the promises of it to, to Abram and remember that you've made promises to us too. Help us remember that you kept the promises to Abram and that you'll keep all the promises to us too. Help us to follow you. Make us good. Help us to learn. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm so grateful that you spent this time with me, and I'm so excited for us to talk about all the stories that we have to talk about still. God working with Abram and his family. I cannot wait. And I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care, my little friend. Bye-bye.